Hollywood. A big gust of wind is on its way. It's the Tom Likas Show. Race for impact. And now. And now. Here he is. Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. I can't even believe there's a controversy about this, but there is. All right, so we have this thing called TARP. This is that 700 or so billion dollars that the government has been ladling all over big banks like you'd ladle gravy on some mashed potatoes. Citibank's gotten $45 billion, I believe. Bank of America got TARP money. Wells Fargo got TARP money. Bunch of financial institutions got TARP money. Commonly known as bailout money. And uh, we've heard... Um, since then, a number of very troubling stories. For example, the now former CEO of Bank of America, Richard Thane, spent over a million dollars decorating his office there at Bank of America. And among the uh, among the decor items, he had what they called a commode on legs. This was an antique toilet on legs <laughs> your tarp money at work and we have heard about uh, various junkets by some of these banks some of these lending institutions insurance companies I mean, that AIG, uh, their uh, retreats. So it's amazing what they're spending money on. And so today, Barack Obama came out and said, we're putting limits. Effective immediately, the CEO of a bank receiving TARP money cannot receive more than $500,000 in pay. That's the limit. $500,000. If you want to pay a CEO more than that, you pay him what's called restricted stock that vests once the bank has repaid the TARP money. Now, what is unfair about that? What is wrong with that? Well, all hell is breaking loose. I was watching CNBC, the money channel today, and I, I couldn't believe my ears. I actually heard people saying things like, well, how are you supposed to keep the best and the brightest around for only $500,000 a year? And here's my response to that. If you were the best and the brightest, your bank wouldn't need a bailout. Clearly, the best and the brightest work at banks that don't need a bailout, wouldn't you say? That's preposterous. All oh, banks need to be able to pay more than that so they can attract the best of the brightest. You know, any bank that is in the position saying, please help us, please, please give us money, please. That bank is not run by the best of the brightest. And the CEO of that bank should not make more than $500,000 a year. If that... I've got no problem with the government saying, all right, we've got money for you, money to lend to your customers. We got it right here. But you don't get it until you promise that your CEO makes $500,000 a year or less. That's it. You have a problem with this? Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. Yeah. It's the 
Tom Likas Show. For the show with the shorter commercial breaks. Oh, yeah, everybody's talking about it. Mostly me. Fewer commercials. More phone calls from morons like you. That's right, we squeeze in even more calls in an hour, and now even you can get in. Now, if you don't believe me, try it right now. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's one 800 5800 Anthony on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Anthony. Long time, first time. Thank you so much. I listen to you all the time, or not all the time, as much as I can. Don't always agree, but on this one, I agree 100%, Tom. These companies are going down the tubes, and these CEOs making millions of dollars, and they want more? Yeah, well, uh, here's the thing. I don't know if they want more, but they uh, certainly, uh, if your bank is getting government assistance because you mi mismanage the risk, uh, you do not deserve a big salary or a bonus. I agree 100%. That was, you know, it's similar to like when the, uh, the automakers went to, went to ask for that money and they're all flying in, in the, on their private jets and they're asking for money. Right. Uh, you know, these, these CEOs don't see the, I don't know, they, they're just looking at dollar signs for them. They're not looking at the little guys making the, making the product or doing the, you know, the actual business. Right. That's exactly I, right. I, like I said, Tom, I agree with you and, uh, so you don't think it's unreasonable to say, here's a limit, 500000 I, I, I think 500000 is too much. I think it should be cut down to 100000 You know, cut it well, down. We can, all argue, we can all argue about what it should be and give another number. Yeah. But the bottom line is, there should be a number, right? There should be a limit. Yeah, there should be a limit. 500 is more than enough. You know, if, uh, right, I mean, if you uh, want to make more than $500,000 a year, go work at a bank that doesn't beg for money from the federal government. Exactly. Well, the taxpayer's exactly. not paying your salary. I couldn't agree more. Anthony, thank you. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Bill on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. Okay. So these are the creme de la creme bankers in the world. <laughs> well, they done blew it. And we say, or the president says, okay, you guys are limited to 500000 a year. Well, how often do they get that 500000 Because believe me, they... They can't live on five hundred thousand. They're so stretched. Yeah. So I what know. do they get it? Every two weeks. Well, uh, again, I, uh, how often do they get what five hundred thousand? That's five hundred thousand a year. Well, if they're not saying. What do you they're mean? They're not limited saying. to five hundred thousand, but nobody's saying how. Often no, it is five hundred thousand a year. It is. Okay. Well. If, okay, you say so. We we sit around this body shop and listen to you every day, man. Well, good. Suck down a couple beers and sit and laugh and argue about some of the things that happened. But, yeah, my gig was, I, I'm not buying it. They're, believe me, those guys that are getting millions of dollars, there's a way they're getting more than 500000 a year. Oh, I'm sure they'll try to find ways to skirt it. And uh, even uh, the, the the federal rules allow you to skirt it by paying in restricted stock that only vests after the bank pays back the TARP money. Well, okay. They ain't doing nothing for me. I got a 25-year-old toilet in my bathroom, and it don't roll around. Yeah, I understand. I mean, uh, the, the, that's uh, John Thane, by the way, not Richard Thane. John Thane of Merrill Lynch, now a division of Bank of America, spent all this money on the uh, uh, the commode with legs. I I seen a thing just not long ago after these big fires where these people were uh, State Farm and all these insurance companies had their booths set up to help these people, giving out checks right then to help these people. This one guy walks up and says, well, I didn't get anything there. Go, who were you with? Oh, AIG. They wouldn't give me nothing. <laughs> gave me an IOU. Oh, my. Yeah. No, that was on 60 Minutes or 2020, something like that. Amazing stuff. Thank you for that. I appreciate it, Bill. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Kyle on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Dad. How you doing? I'm doing okay, son. Well, what has me upset about this whole thing is that there were 
several banks that did not request money from CARP, and they received funding from the government anyways. So I don't see how these guys should be, how these CEOs should be punished when their companies didn't need the money in the first place. Examples of these firms are Wells Fargo and Goldman Sachs. Right, exactly. I mean, so, they've been spending money like there's no tomorrow, and... Uh, you know, fine, if you want to live like that, uh, living uh, at the expense of the shareholder. I don't have any problem with that, by the way. Uh, the shareholder can invest in whatever company they want to or not. But uh, if I'm investing, uh, the taxpayer, against my will, uh, you damn well better believe I want to have a say in how that bank is being operated. I agree with you, I agree with you on that point, but why are companies that did not request money in the first place why are they putting, being put in this situation now where their CEOs don't re, are not receiving the compensation that they deserve? Well, they can always give the money back. They, well, yes, they can, but they're... Oh, yeah, oh okay, yeah, I, I, I guess right, but... Uh, you know what? Yeah, I think you got me. They can give it, and they should give it back, but I think they're not because the You know, uh, if, Wells, if Wells Fargo wants to take uh, their uh, clients and uh, some of their best employees uh, to the Wynn and the Encore hotels for days of paid-for debauchery, then let them send the tarp money back. Send it back. <clears throat> yeah, but those guys are under so much... Uh pressure right now might as well it's not our problem and we we shouldn't be paying for it all right hey dude you win man you're good tom <laughs> <laughs> thank you kyle it's one 800 800 tom that's our telephone number mike on the tom like show hello hello yes yes uh about these uh about this salary cap or the five hundred thousand dollars a year that's just the same as a uh, any other type of government aid that uh, anybody else can get. You know, there's always salary caps or, you know, maximum income uh, on any money that anybody gets from anywhere from the government. Yes. And uh, there should be absolutely no different. Well, I don't know if there are salary caps, but in this particular case, you know, there's the distinct possibility that despite getting TARP money, some of these banks can go out of business. I mean, Citibank is in the tank. And if we're not going to get that money back, why should the executive be rewarded with these high salaries? Uh, yeah, exactly. If I don't do my job, I get fired, too. Uh-huh. Yeah, so, I mean, just because they make a lot more doesn't necessarily mean uh, they get they get money for it, you know? So, right. That, that's all I have to say. The, the, the whole bailout is a, it's a farce. It's, it's horrible. I agree with you. All right, thank you. Taking me out, uh, old school? Old school. Yes, I can. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Kim on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, long time, first time. And I'm so happy to hear you um, talk about something besides the size of my boobs. By the way, what, 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 by the way what, what, is, what is your cup size, by the way? Oh, it's a D. D? Thir it's a D. 34 D? 38, but I'm an, I'm an old mom, so you don't oh, want to know about that. But no. I just got to tell you, though, I mean, you do have a, a demographic out here that is a little better educated, and I'm so glad to hear you talking to them. And but here's what the one thing that I want to make a point about is that these guys don't have to take the money, and they're, now this will create the incentive for them to pay the money back because there is no trickle-down effect. They are not um, putting any systems in place to, to let that trickle down to the rest of the people that have lost their money. Yeah. So that's my only point. I just want to say great job, great topic. Love you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. There she goes. 1-800-5800-TOM. That took no time at all. Let's say hello here to uh, huh, David on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, what about the rest of the corporate officers? A lot of those guys are making over a million dollars a year. At the banks? At a lot of these places, yeah. You got the CFO, the CLA. What about all those guys? Um, I'm not opposed to putting limits on that either. 
Yeah, Although, it seems like they kind of slip through the cracks, though. Well, I put it this way. I don't think most of them do make over a million dollars or over half a million dollars a year. I don't. Uh, but if they do, I would have no problem with saying uh, that uh, nobody can make over 500000 a year at your company or certainly uh, nobody uh, in exa at the executive level. Salespeople can make that kind of money or what have you, but uh, exec executives are coming in and sitting on the commode with legs? Uh, no. Yeah, I agree. I think that there's a, I think there's a couple ways around this. Number one, they could easily make the guy who was doing the CEO's job give him a different title and then pay him more. The CEO is really just a title. Well, that, well, they're all titles. Yeah. So I mean, the, the job is what you get paid for. You know, I mean, they could get. Any, I mean, what I'm saying is, these guys could still figure out ways to make millions of dollars and put anybody at the CEO position and pay them less. Well, you're right about that, Mark. On the top, like his show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. I'm in, uh, I'm in total agreement with this uh, $500,000 cap. You know, if those CEOs think they're so good, uh, you know, if they're whining and sniveling, let them walk. Let them try to find a job. Send me their application. I'll I'll, I'll take their job. Bust so a cap in their ass. Isn't too bad. Huh? 500 Gs isn't too bad. Well, uh, you know, it's all relative. Uh, if you're used to making $4 million a year. 500 G's is a letdown, but uh, guess what? If you're making $4 million a year and your bank is begging the federal government for money, you don't deserve $4 million a year. It's that simple. Well, yeah, and if they're going to if they're gonna get these uh, stock options, you know, there's some incentive right there to uh, have them get the train right going straight down the tracks again instead of making this, uh, you know, total devastation that they've created. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, but I am a little bit worried about, uh, you know, I think there are going to be some people slipping through the cracks, like the CIO, the CEO, the CFO. I hope that's in there because uh, certainly at banks, a lot of a lot of those guys are making more than a million. Well, if they are, I'd be more than happy to agree to any limits they want to put on. I say uh, if the bank is that desperate that they have to take federal money, nobody deserves to be getting that kind of money. Exactly. Hey, can you take me out old school style? Yes, of course. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Dave on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello? Yes. Tom? Yes. This is Dave. How you doing? I just said that. Sorry about that. Hey, I have a quick question. How do you feel about uh, these CEOs making uh, $500,000 salary? Uh, and the government having control over that, and Manny Ramirez turning down a $25 million salary. And the government allowing these baseball players to make $25 million. I don't think the government has any right to interfere in that, uh, unless baseball is taking bailout money from the government. Right. But my other question was, what, what, you know, if the government can, can make all these loans, why, why do they even need to get the banks involved? Why don't they just make the loans themselves? Well, I think that's a good idea. Frankly, uh, I think uh, if the banks don't start lending money, the government is going to have to set up their own bank. I think they were trying to shortcut it, just going to the banks, letting the banks do all their heavy lifting. Well, let's it. face it. Look, 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 you've been to the DMV. What kind of job do you think the federal government would do uh, in the banking business? Terrible. Right. You've also been, I'm sure, to get your passport, uh, uh, you know, take your photo down and your application. You've been to the federal building. Um, you have been uh, to, to, to get other government services. You've been on unemployment recently. Uh, really, how would you like to be in a government bank waiting in line for service? Well, I'm saying they, they can't handle it, but they want to give the money to these banks. From the run. people who brought you the post office. Pardon? Thank you for calling. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Michael on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how's it going, Dad? Great. Uh, I wish I made five hundred grand a year. Uh, <laughs> what are these people thinking? Well, again, uh, if you're doing a good job... And people are competing for your services as a CEO. Clearly, as good as 500000 may look, you're entitled to get as much as you can get. But I would say if the taxpayer is lending you money to keep your operations afloat, you don't have any right to expect uh, any particular amount of money. 
And I think the government has the right to say, look, you get this money, but here are the conditions. Number one, uh, no executive jets. Number two, no junkets. Number three, and nobody making over $500,000 a year. I, 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 it's perfectly reasonable. If the banks don't like it, they can give the money back. I agree. Can you think of a better way to stimulate the growth in the, of the economy by making these guys maybe take a commercial flight? Maybe some of these other companies won't go bankrupt now. Well, it wouldn't bother me, I'll tell you that. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. Yes, it's the Tom Likas Show. You bet it is. You now hear us six days a week. Saturdays from 2 until 6 p.m. Pacific Time. Monday through Friday from 3 until 8 p.m. on 97.1 FM Talk. And if you're not in Southern California or you can't pick us up on the radio, uh, you go to our website, blowmeuptom.com, click on the Listen Live button, and there you'll be listening live. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. President Barack Obama today announced... That we're going to put a limit on CEO pay at banks that accept the bailout money. $500,000 is the limit. You got a problem with that? I don't. Raphael on the Tom Likas show. He's listening to our online stream from Queens, New York. We're in Queens, Raphael. We are in, Fort in uh, Elmhurst. With Elmhurst, okay. Just across St. John's that is about to close. Oh, look at that. And by the way, uh, by the way, you live near the new Mets ballpark, which was going to be called City Field. Speaking of uh, banks that are going broke, uh, are they changing the name of that, or are they going to leave it the same? No, I, I have no idea at this moment. Okay, good. I'm glad I checked with an expert. Well, uh, I, I wanted to tell you that as a physician in uh, practicing here in your favorite town, New York, yeah. um, I believe that all the CEOs at the... HMOs, uh, a health maintenance organization, they cannot make more than a quarter million dollars. Because if they are, even if they are physicians, they should go, they can make a, a, a side, uh, a personal time practice and, and round their income. And definitely using taxpayer money, using uh, government money in the situation that we have, the health care at this time in America, the most expensive healthcare in the world, CEO making $5 million a year, made no sense at all. I would love to see one of those CEOs moonlighting, uh, like driving a New York cab. Wouldn't that I be great? I would love to see them moonlighting and, and, and running uh, in the delivery room and in the emergency room. <laughs> and then they know what we pay the price when we are on call, and we hear that today we are not paying for this medication. Well, thank you for that, Raphael. I don't disagree. Uh, with, you, you, we don't necessarily have to agree on the number, but you agree with me that there should be a limit, and there should be a limit. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Uh, let's say hello here to uh, Mark on the Tom Likas show. Hey, Tom. Uh, this is Mark Griffin, or this is Mark Cohen, a uh, first time caller here. If you read more into that article about the Merrill Lynch then Bank of America uh, guy that was let go. He also had an $87,000 rug that was in his office. Well, I thought that was on his head. <laughs> so, yeah, let alone the uh, the commode, an $87,000 rug that he could walk on every single day. Wouldn't you rather have a Jaguar, Tom? <laughs> Paid for by the taxpayers. That's what I'd like. Exactly. And then if, if you read more into that article, he also gave up. Of course, you know, when the merger occurred, some of his top staff were let go. He gave them $25 million goodbye packages as well. So Yeah, how many billions did he hand out? There were, like, billions. Yeah. I, I'm not sure. Yeah, no, no, I know how much. I, I have it. $4 billion in bonuses. Un unbelievable. Unbelievable. $4 billion. Yeah, and, and they, and, uh, and they and won't the they won't give you they won't give you a visa card, but they <laughs> gave four billion dollars and a rug that costs about six figures. So that's that's <laughs> just unbelievable. And then they're going to let go, um, you know, employees. You know, thirty five thousand employees, I think, was the number in the next couple of years. So 
Great. <laughs> Unbelievable. So, uh, will you take me out Kobe style? Yes, I absolutely will. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. This is Zach in Portland, Oregon, on the Tom Likas show. Hello. How's it going, Tom? Great. Um, I just want to say, first off, my dad uh, listened to you for a long time, and he he uh, got me listening to you about six months ago. You're awesome. Thank you. And um, I was calling about the caller earlier who said uh, something about the government's taking over our banks. Well, that, the, the government is certainly, uh, when the government lends you money, when the government does you a favor, they expect something in return. I, I definitely agree. I, I was just calling to say that if they were to start a government bank, like you were saying, like the DMB and all that, it would be so incredibly slow, people would be so incredibly impatient that it would just not work. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, again, I think uh, uh, the government has done a lousy job. Of course, Barack Obama believes government can be fantastic, and uh, that's yet to be seen. But well, he also, you know, made a mistake in, you know, having elected officials not pay their taxes. Well, that's certainly true, as, as we discussed. Thank you for that. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. John on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How you doing? Doing okay. I had an idea that I, I think might fix the problem without the government having to get too involved. Um, okay. I would even propose to have the, the number be lower than 500000 But as an incentive for them to run their business properly, which they've shown that they can do, maybe give the people in charge, CEOs, all the executives, a percentage of the profit. That would cut back on the extra spending that they do. That would cut back on giving bonuses and renting jets. Maybe they'd, they'd cut back there because that money's their money. They're wasting their own money if you do it that way. Well, uh, you know, anything to get them to uh, get things more in line. I mean, again, if they have to lay people off, if they can't lend you any money, if they can't give you a credit card, uh, I don't see uh, <laughs> why the uh, CEOs deserve any kind of uh, huge salaries. It doesn't make any sense. Hey, they could they're not even running it right. They're supposed to be the, the most the most intelligent financial minds in the country who are supposed to be running these banks, who the, who the board of directors picked to run these banks, and they've shown that they don't know how to do it. Thank you for that, John. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Oscar on the Tom Likas show. All right, Oscar, thank you for that. This is John on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom. Hey, how you doing? Great. Hey, you know what? I what what concerns me so much is we're paying these guys, uh, you know, this outrageous amount. And whatever happened to the old school way of doing things, like on commission? I mean, that's the way you're paid. You sell, you sell commercials, you get paid bigger salary. I sell construction jobs, I get bigger salary. Well, uh, I have no problem with that. I mean, that's, that's the way everybody should be paid. I mean, if we went back to the old school way of things, like the salesmen of yesteryear, everybody would be getting paid what they're actually worth, not what they think they're worth. And these banks and these CEOs, you know, Wells Fargo, I guess they did some little, they did, went on some junket I read in, uh, on MSN yesterday. That, that we keep hearing about more and more of these. Yeah, now, I don't care. I don't care what businesses do. Uh, I think you know uh, the we uh, we need to have free enterprise in this country as much as we can. And if businesses want to spend money uh, schmoozing clients or schmoozing their good employees, got no problem with it as long as uh, their balance sheet and their profits are paying for it. That's right. They paid on commission. That's the way I believe that everybody should be. All right. Thank you for that, John. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Chris on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Doing great. I just wanted to, um, because you were talking earlier about how the government should make their own bank or whatever. If they did that, wouldn't they start printing their money? Printing their own money, and then we'd have, like... Even more of an inflation. No, of no, bill? no, 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 no. They would run it like any other bank. You know, they would uh, have to get capital infusions from wherever they would get capital. They wouldn't necessarily have to print money. Okay, uh, yeah. 
<clears throat> what about the, the, the whole thing with the... Um, because I, I heard the other guy saying earlier uh, something about the the money uh, going to these people and then doing commission or whatever. That was his idea. Uh, nobody talking about actually doing that. Fred on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Fred, uh, Tom. How are you today? Great. Well, first of all, I got to got to tell you, I like your new format. Thank you. Uh, second of all, you know, I've got two points. Um, they want to get this economy stimulated. I think they should go back to what they tried to do in, in with Katrina, and that was hand out debit cards to every American, but with one limit. Make sure that there is a time limit set on those debit cards. So the money has to be put into circulation, and most, you know, all your retailers would take these cards, and, and that would, in my opinion, would get the the package stimulus package back in in play um but also you know i mean small business owners run this country as far as i'm concerned um if if and i think our, we're all upset over what's happening and how these ceos are taking advantage of us and stuff like that i think if if we if our numbers were greater and we could come together to put this thing to a stop if, if the small business owner says hey you know we're not going to pay taxes anymore i think they'd get they get the reins on this thing instead of letting them get it out of control well, I, 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 you know, again, I certainly, uh, small business uh, does most of the employing uh, in this country. Uh, by the same token, uh, let's face facts, uh, big business, uh, you know, greases a lot of the skids. Uh, the, the, the way small business gets money to borrow is from big banks, big uh, lending institutions. That's where almost all of us get our money. I agree. I just I think that I think our numbers need to be greater and our, our cries need to be be heard. And I think we'd get change. I just don't think I I think the small numbers just aren't bitching enough. Thank you for that, DJ on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? I'm doing okay. Hey, I'm one of these grunts that has the money in Bank of America, and I just want to know how can I get to one of these CEOs and kick some butt. <laughs> I mean, this is my money they're dealing with, and I want to kick some butt. They're just sitting back in their fancy chairs and everything. Well, uh, uh, you know, it has been my opinion that uh, a lot of these companies, and I'm not naming any of them in particular because uh, there's a lot of guilty parties out there, uh, spent billions and billions of dollars trying to acquire all their competitors and trying to dominate the business. And in many cases, they overpaid for assets or they uh, bought assets without doing due diligence and knowing what these companies owed, or how much uh, they were into the subprime soup or whatever. Mm -hmm. And now they need us to bail them out. Now, unfortunately, I, I don't know why other people couldn't see this. I will tell you that I uh, owned absolutely no stock in financial institutions. None. Sounds smart. And that is because I knew. That five years after 2002, when adjustable rate mortgages would readjust, all hell would break loose. That is why I waited until February of 2008 to buy a, a, a summer home. Because I knew, I, I said it all along, the guys here will confirm it. I always said there's going to be blood in the streets. And when there is, I'm jumping in. And that's what I did. Okay, I'm... Don't know if I should be hurt or offended. Tom like is one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom one eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six six. The Tom like is show. Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. Your president and mine, Barack Obama, announced today that uh, any bank taking bailout money cannot have a CEO who makes over $500,000 a year. <laughs> Phil on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How are you doing today? I'm doing okay, Phil. Well, I just wanted to comment on it. I've been a Bank of America customer for about 10 years now. And in the get-go, everything was fine. But recently, I've been hit with fees, things that I, you know, that I've never agreed to. And, and you know, it seems like to me that all these companies out here, all the big banks, big businesses, are getting all these bailouts. 
You know, I can't I can't go into a bank that are that we basically have bailed out and ask them for a loan, or even ask them for to use the bathroom. I'll get thrown out. You know, and, and, I, and I believe that it's just it's a bunch of bull crap that we the American people are bailing out all these companies, and yet when we're struggling, when we're down and out, if we need help. Everybody turns the other way, like we don't even exist. Again, uh, let me just say that, uh, uh, first of all, you can be at any bank. Uh, you can leave, but you're going to go to other banks, and many of them are in the same soup right now because these are the worst economic times of our life. Uh, we'll never see it this bad again, I hope, and we never have seen it this bad. Well, I agree with that. Now, as far as fees are concerned, uh, any time a bank starts uh, imposing fees that I don't agree with, I uh, close the account or I find out if they've got an account where they won't charge me fees. And yeah, well, uh, if they don't have an account like that, I just go. Well, I mean, it, it hasn't been the entire I've been a customer with them. It's only been recently that all these things have changed to my account that I didn't know about. And I've talk, tried to talk to people about it, and, and nobody really basically gives crap. Well, uh, that's the problem when any bank or any business becomes as big as some of these businesses are. And, um, you know, I, what I always do is I go in, and by the way, I get much better action when I go into a branch and speak to a face. Mm -hmm. I, I don't deal with 800 numbers. I don't deal with email. I don't write to websites. I go in and see a person. And that, that's, if I were you, that's what I would do, because I think you'll get a lot better treatment if you just walk in. Angel on the top like his show, hello. Hey, huh? Hey. Uh, listen, I'm married to an employee at Wells Fargo, and one year they sent us to Hawaii, all expenses paid, the Hilton Hotel. Uh, you know, they fed us everything, and because it was all expenses paid, we dropped $8,000 of our own money. To party, you know, just to, you know, we rented a car, you know, we went parasailing, we scuba dive, we just, we just had fun, we bought weed over there, you know, like, we just had fun, and I think it was a mistake, Wells Fargo was forced to take the money, and, you know, this is a mistake, that, that would have spent so much money. Well, uh, you know, again, uh, as long as uh, a business is making the money uh, to cover these expenses, and the shareholders don't mind. That's between uh, the the bank and their shareholders. It's between the well, bank and, and and their clients. Well, what, Fargo what? has been making a lot of money and actually was forced to take the money. I told my wife that someday the government would take over some banks. She wouldn't believe me. She's well, well first of all, first of all, nobody was forced to take the money. Uh, the government said, please, do this, please. We, we need yeah. you to help us, please. They did. There's well, nothing Fargo's stopping Fargo. Wells Fargo or any other bank from wiring that money right back and saying, stuff it. Right, but they're, they're not as much in trouble as some of the other banks are. And you have to see that. And also, how many jobs did Wells Fargo save by you know, acquiring Wachovia? They saved that company. They saved all those jobs, you know? I think Wells Fargo, there's, there's certain, you know, aspects. Look at Bank of America, $50, $50 million jet. Uh, obviously a mistake. You know, obviously they did on purpose. Wells Fargo hasn't done that. They're rewarding people for doing a good job. Wells Fargo, Shelly Friedman was telling her employees for the longest time, don't get involved in these bad loans. You know, a couple of them did, but not like the rest of the banks. And if you look into that, you'll see Wells Fargo has been doing good they're, they're a little shaky right now but that's because of the acquiring of wachovia and now they're going to be big they're going to be awesome east coast west coast representation so i mean it's a big mistake uh, um, the the people would have spent you know so much money uh, in vegas vegas is hurting right now they're sending me free rooms all of the casinos they're hurting this would have helped when when is cutting a day off in his week work this would have, you know, helped revenue in that area. So it's a big mistake. You know, you got to pick and choose. Your uh, $50 million jet, wrong. You know, all these people being rewarded for doing a good job and they're going to spend more money. Maybe, you know, but this is a tradition Wells Fargo does, though. 
they do this for everyone. The well, then they should send the tarp money back and say, we're, we're going to run our own business. Thank you very much. So fun. All right, give, give that some thought, will you? You and your friend there. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Justin on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Great. Yeah, I just wanted to find out what you think about all the CEOs that are bringing, having charges brought against them uh, for receiving golden parachutes like Kerry Killinger of Washington Mutual and a bunch of others, too. Well, uh, you know, where were the boards of directors when these things happened? Uh, you know, where were the other executives? Where were the shareholders? I kind of agree with that because, I mean, how can you blame a guy for, you know, taking a fat bonus or a fat check for a couple million dollars? But I mean, I'm getting paid a lot of money right now. Should I feel badly about that? I don't. It's the board of directors who are rewarding ignorance, so... Well, it's between, uh, I would say it's between, uh, for example, Washington Mutual and their shareholders. You think that, like, there should be no charges brought against these CEOs? Well, the, what law do they break? Yeah, agreed. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard to bring charges if they didn't break the law. 1-800-5800-TOM. Chewy. On the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hey, Tom, that was the topic. Thank you. But I wanted to say I wanted to disagree on the the limit for five hundred thousand dollars a year. I say if you know if it's going to take a brilliant mind that's going to charge a lot to get them out, I say let them do that. But, but most of these uh, most of these banks are not hiring new brilliant minds to dig them out. They have the same brilliant minds that dug the hole. Well, that's why I, I I say they get evaluated and see you know over this or, or over this period when they were here. If they brought down the company or if the company, you know, lost an excessive amount of, you know, revenue, then, hey, you know, they get what they deserve. What would be wrong time. with, for example, which is allowed, paying them in restricted stock that vests upon the tar money being returned to the government? Uh, well, I think that's fine, but I'm just saying, I mean... Well, that, it, is, it, that is allowed. Yeah, but, uh, I mean, if, if they deserve to be pouring more, and, I mean, if they do a good job, then let them get paid more. But, I mean, by the same token, if they allowed this you know, company to go down while they were on board, then they should go down with it if they're getting funds as well. And whoever is brought in, I mean, if they're going to be limited to, you know, $500,000 because the previous CEO did a bad job, I think, you know, it, it, it's just it's just going to be a headache. And, uh, All right, we're out of time. I thank you very much for the call. The Tom Likas Show.